If you think ChatGPT is the only game in town when it comes to AI, you're missing the boat because Google has quietly amassed what I think is the biggest collection of AI enabled tools in the world. And today I'm gonna to show you the 12 tools from Google that you should be paying attention to if you wanna stay on top of the AI game. Hey, I'm Craig Hewitt, welcome back to 100 Days of AI. Let's dive in and the first tool we're gonna to be looking at is Google AI Studio. So if you head over to aistudio.google.com, you can see this has a couple of options here in the left. It has chat, which is using the Gemini model. Gemini is the name of the LLM, the large language model from Google. This would be like OpenAI's ChatGPT or Claude's Sonnet 4. So it has chat. You can do things like, hey, write me some Python code, give me a recipe to cook salmon, whatever you want, right? Um, it also has streaming, which is super interesting. So Google, I think their big thing is AI is built natively into things that you do. It's not just a chat bot. And this is so cool because you can have a type go, a prompt going here while you're sharing your screen. So if you're trying to uh, do a presentation or navigate a piece of software, or uh, if you're talking to it, you can have the AI talk back to you while your webcam is running live. This is incredible, right? I love Google's fusion of AI with products that they already have and that they're developing and things that we do every day. You can generate media. We're gonna talk about image gen and VO3 in just a minute, but these are some of the best image generation and video generation models in the world, largely for free, built right into AI Studio here. And you can build apps. We did a whole video on Opal. We're gonna talk about Opal again in a minute, but you can build apps, you can chat with docs, you can do all these things no coding required, just natural language, talk to the computer and it builds you a piece of software for you to use internally at your company, with your family, for your personal productivity, okay? So AI Studio is kind of a catch-all for a lot of the things that Google can do. It's your one-stop shop. Firebase is the next one. Firebase is Google's mobile app and app development platform. And again, they fused AI into this heavily. So prototype, build and run modern AI powered experiences with users love with Firebase, right? So like Firebase is like, hey, if you're a developer, you wanna build an application, or if you're gonna vibe code something, which we're gonna talk about vibe coding soon, Firebase is kind of the ecosystem and the platform that you would code something into. Again, there's a lot of AI built into this, GenKit, which we're gonna talk about in a second, Firebase AI Logic, all these things to make your life as a developer or a vibe coder easier so you can get something out the door with a bunch of built-in infrastructure and support here so you're not having to create everything from scratch. So if you're a developer, Firebase. GenKit, right? Uh, Google has open sourced a whole framework for building tools. So around Node.js, Go and Python, these are all programming languages. So you can just import full stack AI powered application uh, technologies and frameworks and supporting uh, tools for you as a developer right for free, right? So GenKit is a, a full kind of AI stack that you can import into an application to make using AI into your piece of custom software just a lot easier. I haven't played around with it, but I would suppose Firebase heavily uses GenKit in its implementation. Cool, next one is VO3. VO3 is Google's latest uh, generative video model. Uh, and so you can just see on the screen here, like the things that it's doing are incredible and you use uh, VO3 either right from Gemini or in Flow. And Flow is a video generation kind of platform and tool that Google has. So if you're into video, if you use something like Sora from OpenAI, definitely take a look at VO3 and Flow for ways to make incredible videos just with text, nothing else required. Next is Gemini. Again, Gemini is the large language model. Gemini is the chat bot. So a, a very good analogy to Claude or ChatGPT. You can ask it questions uh, and it has a concept of gems. So gems are like uh, GPTs in ChatGPT. So you can come in and have uh, predefined things that you want to do. You can give it a name, you can give it instructions, you can give it all sorts of special knowledge, you can add documents. And again, this integrates seamlessly with stuff like Google Docs, Google Sheets, right? Uh, gems are really powerful. We're gonna have a whole video on building gems in a bit. Uh, and there's this whole library of ones that are pre-made uh, by Google. So Gemini, if you're like, uh, if you're already on a, uh, a paid like Google Workspace account, Gemini comes free. 
Uh, there's two different models here currently, 2.5 flash, which is like the kind of base model and 2.5 pro, which will uh, limit you out pretty quickly. Uh, so on the Google workspace plan I'm on, which is the cheapest one, I think I get about 10 interactions with 2.5 pro a day, but I could probably have as many as I want with 2.5 flash, which for most things is really sufficient. Cool. So uh, Gemini and gems and gem manager, definitely something to check out. If you're like, Hey, I don't want to pay 20 bucks for chat GPT or Claude or something. This is basically free and gives almost everything that those tools do. ImageGen talked about uh, VO3 for generative video. ImageGen is the solution for generative uh, images, right? Again, built into Gemini, or they have their own platform, just like we were talking about with Flow. Uh, in image in the image world, Whisk is the kind of custom solution uh, for Google to create. AI generative images, right? So um, again, a lot of this is free. A lot of it's baked right into your Google Workspace plan. Or if you pay a little bit extra, you get access to like a little more powerful models and more usage. Uh, but you know, generative images, generative video, definitely kind of the future. I think for me personally, tech is not quite there for a lot of generative media, but it's coming. You better believe it's coming. So you wanna stay ahead of kind of the game here, right? Cool. Uh, the next two are kind of projects from Google. So Project Astra, uh, research prototype exploring breakthrough capabilities for Google products uh, on the way to building a universal AI assistant. So between uh, this one and Project Mariner, which I'm going to talk about in a second, these are um, kind of come from the deep mind uh, section of Google. Uh, and these are like very forward looking. You see there's like a wait list. There's not really a product here, but this is just something that like if you're an AI enthusiast and you're like, hey, I want to stay on top of what the latest is going on in the AI space, these are the kinds of things you want to pay attention to. Similarly, Project Mariner, a research prototype exploring the future of human agent interaction, starting with browsers. So like to me, where all of this is going is agents. We're going to be talking a lot about agents in the future. And I think that the company that wins either is going to have the best integration with AI in the tools we already use, which if you watch the video on why I think Google is going to win the AI war, they're well on their way to winning there. The other one is who's going to make it easy to build, manage, evaluate, uh, and, and see like ROI and performance from agents. Agents is the future. It's how we're all going to use AI if we're smart <laughs> uh, in the future. And this Project Mariner is Google's kind of experimental and developmental platform to launch and manage agents. You better believe this is gonna come full steam and come online here soon. Okay, the next one is something that I literally just learned about. That's why I wanted to make this video. Uh, again, this concept of fusing AI into tools we already use, turns out you can ask AI questions from a YouTube video. I didn't know this, but I'm gonna try it out. Uh, there are certain educational videos that are gonna be eligible for this and you just push the little ask uh, star button here um, and just ask a question of a YouTube video. Incredible. Okay, the next one is AI mode and search. And you may have seen this, you go to google.com. If you haven't found perplexity, <laughs> you still might Google stuff. Uh, you go to google.com, you Google something and results come up. Uh, it used to be just a whole page of links and there's some ads and stuff at the top. Now, depending on kind of your browser and your settings and if you've opted into this, you might just get an AI summary at the top. And this is really transformational uh, for me. You know, Google's business model is built in almost entirely on selling ads. What is gonna happen with Google's business model when the ads just disappear and all that's there is this AI result? I don't know, um, but you better believe that like they're thinking a lot about this, right? If, if a lot of your business model is based on selling ads at the top of like these organic search results, what's gonna happen when that goes away? I think Google is in a really interesting place to lean into AI as much as they are, knowing that it's really disrupting the base business model of selling links at the top of search results. So pay attention here. But AI mode in search is really interesting and really somewhere I think that Google is uh, kind of coming to terms with the shifting business model. So just be interesting to see. I really like AI mode and AI results that I got in a lot of the searches that I use on Google. Okay, next one is Notebook LM. Did a whole video on how I use Notebook LM to consolidate large amounts of information. Just check it out. Uh, it's about the ByteDance uh, open source model. 
check it out. It's in the, it's in the channel. Uh, but, uh, notebook LM is an amazing way to consolidate and talk to large amounts of information, especially if you don't want that, uh, that chat to get put, pushed back to a model for training or anything. And if you want to be a hundred percent sure that there's no hallucinations because notebook LM only talks to the sources that you give it. So if we go create a new notebook here, you give notebook LM sources and this is all the context that you're chatting with it about. And then from there, you can go uh, create podcasts of it, video overviews, mind maps, and a bunch of different types of resources and reports uh, just from the chats that you have with the resources that you give it. Cool. Um, and the last one is Opal. Did a whole video on Google Opal versus Replit. Replit's another kind of no code AI app builder. Uh, and Opal was really amazing. Again, entirely free, just like almost everything else we've talked about, entirely free, built into your Google subscription for Google Workplace, or even if you just have plain old Gmail, um, a really, really cool way to vibe code and code up just really simple web apps. I think I built a game in the example that we did, but like this is, this is amazing, right? Again, just fusing AI into tools that we're already using. I would guess they're using a lot of the technology of Opal all the way back here to AI Google AI Studio, right? So, okay, there you have it. 12 AI products from Google that you probably didn't know about, but you should check out. If you wanna stay in the forefront of AI technology education to make you more productive, happier, <laughs> and better at work, I think these are all worth checking out. Just spend a couple of hours, one afternoon, kind of playing around with these. That's how we all stay on top of AI education or you can subscribe to the channel here and I'll give you a video every day for the 100 days of AI. And speaking of which, I put together a free 30 day kind of AI crash course. So if you're like, hey, I use ChatGPT and that's kind of all I know. And you're like, I gotta get on top of this. I gotta level up my game. I gotta know what's going on and I gotta get more effective and productive with AI. There's a link in the description below. I'll send you an email every day for 30 days, helping you with tips and tricks, resources like the ones I'm showing here, so you can stay on top of your AI game a little easier. I'm Craig Hewitt. Thanks so much for checking this one out. If you're enjoying this, please like, subscribe, smash the bell. And if you want to see the full breakdown of why I think Google is winning the AI wars and is going to crush the likes of Anthropic and OpenAI, check out this video right here.